Right. Hello, my name is Leo. I'm here with uh, Lena, Kaylee, and Lucas, and uh, Sydney is our other partner, but she couldn't be here today. This is a snail project. Um, our idea is to examine the growth of a population of snails over a period of 52 weeks. Um, the base rate, the base variables that we start with are 20% for our rate. We'll have 10 snails that are at week zero. We had the 10 snails. And then our capacity is 1,000 snails. So what we do is we take these starting variables and we plug them into this formula. And the formula is to get additional snails. So to calculate number of additional snails, we take the rate 20%. That's going to be 0.2. Put it in there. Um, then you do times 1 minus 10 divided by a capacity of 1,000. So we get our additional snails. And since we already had the 10 previous snails, we're going to add the additional snails onto those 10 and that's how we get our week one. Now, to do this on the calculator, you would have to enter this formula 52 times and then add the previous snails for each week. Um, luckily, there's Excel, which we've used to make things a lot more simple, and um, we really don't have time going to explain uh, how we did it in Excel. It's a bit of a process, but we did it. We'll just examine the scatter plots that we've created. Uh, so this, the 20% rate is one of the scatter plots that we've created for 52 weeks. Then we also have another 52 weeks and another scatter plot where we change the 20% to 50%. And after that, we keep going. We create another scatter plot for 52 weeks at a rate 150%. Then we change our rate to 250%, create our fourth scatter plot. And our fifth scatter plot is at 350%. And um, for our final sixth scatter plot that we've created, um, it's we change the capacity, the carrying K, to a thousand, and still keep the 20% rate, 10% starting. Uh, but, but we change our thousand rate to a trillion. That's that's what we would do for the final uh, sixth scatter plot. Um, and Kaylee will take us into examining our first scatter plot. And this is a sigmoidal uh, relationship, a sigmoidal S shaped graph that we're examining. All right. So for the first graph, we did not reach the carrying capacity within the 52 weeks at a rate of 20%. And we get a nice classic uh, sigmoidal S shape. It's not, not very steep. And there it is, they're kind of not barely reaching a thousand. Okay, and then for the second graph, we reach the carrying capacity by week 24 at a 50% rate. And with the increased 50% rate, we can see the increase in the sharpness of the curve, but still have, uh, we're, we're still able to see a nice um, S shape in here. At a rate of 150%, we reach the carrying capacity at week seven. The higher the interest rate, the more likely the graph will not resemble an S shape. And moving on to 250%. At 250%, we reached the carrying capacity at week six. And there it is. And so you see the blue dots are the new snails, green dots are the previous population. And it seems like they're really all over the place. We don't really see much of an S shape. Um, we tried changing the uh, starting population to 999 to see what would happen. And uh, if you look at this area over here, when I hit enter, we get this extra dot for the previous population. We still don't really see much of an S shape there. so. Doesn't look like it did anything. And then we did the same thing for 350%, um, and we changed that to 999. And if you look over here around this thousand, when I hit enter, another dot pops up. So it doesn't look like we had um, much of a change there.
All right, for our 350% growth rate, uh, we found that in week five, we reached our carrying capacity. It may have been a little bit earlier because it's a little bit over 1,000, but you can see an extremely sharp sigmodal curve, and that is all for that one. And we then changed our carrying capacity to a trillion snails, and through our results, we found that we didn't even get to a trillion in our first 52 weeks. We, yeah. And then uh, to go back to the graph, I wanted to show that this is only the beginning of the curve. It's not even the first half of it, so it's still increasing.